Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all can call me Pharaoh, and welcome to a little sneak peek of a game called Necrolance. Now, I was contacted by the founder and owner of Monsoon Studios, and he is developing a game, well, called Necrolance, which is kind of like a Game Boy Color-like game for PC. Um, it kind of focuses on like a dynamic story element in which the player both plays as a protagonist and the antagonist. So, you know, I grew up kind of with like the, um, retro games of the Game Boy and all that, so I'm like, hell yeah, this seems kind of interesting. So, I figured I'd just go ahead and showcase off the demo here. Uh, it's gonna be a full playthrough of it, and, uh, if you guys like it, then go ahead and support the developer by, uh, clicking on the green lit, or uh, green light Steam page, uh, in the description below. So let's go ahead and just get it started. Uh, what's actually kind of cool is, uh, I guess originally it was in being, like, in the kind of classic, kind of like the Green Boy greenish tint, but you can also play in color, which I'll do for you guys. There's also achievements and controls. I'm actually playing this on a, a gamepad. You can also easily use the keyboard, of course, and some options, so everything's all good. Let's go ahead and get started, and, uh, let's see here. I, actually, I don't even know if I can select hard right now. But for the sake of this, let's just go ahead and do normal. Long ago, there was a great and powerful necromancer that lurked in the shadows of Land of Mangarth. The world fell into chaos until a noble warrior rose up and challenged the necromancer in a fight to death. The warrior was successful in battle and defeated the dark necromancer. Now a thousand years have passed and the world has begun to fall back to the shadows. It is up to you, young warrior, to save the kingdom of Nangarth from this great evil once again. Be like straight to the point, you know, it's like, you gotta do something, do it! First we gotta wake our butt up, there we go. So like I said, if you were like a, a fan of like retro games, especially like the old NES Game Boy, days and you'll be I think you'll love this. Hey! There you are! I've been looking for you! You're late for your training! I can't have one of my soldiers miss some day of practice just off of laziness. Hurry up and get to the obstacle course. I'll have to use some new equipment that should help you clear today's training. I'll have to do the chest up ahead. Okay. The fencer. Cause yeah, we can't do anything right now. I'm pressing all the buttons and all I can do is just walk left and right. But uh, don't worry about it. Sooner or later, we're actually gonna get some nice equipment, and it's like, hell yeah, well, well, first off, here we go. Behold, the Boots of Power! With this, you can now jump in the air as if you were light as a feather, like this! And yeah, he has some hops on him. Now, you see what I'm doing right here? I, I don't kind of... This is a mechanic that's gonna come, like, in a matter of a couple minutes here. But if you walk off a platform, you can still jump. Kind of like, it's kind of like an air jump, or... You know what I like to classify it as. If you guys ever play like Donkey Kong Country, you can do like that roll jump. It's kind of the same thing. Here we go. You can jump if you walk off a platform. Like, like so. So it's like, oh, okay. And I, I love it. Like the game actually incorporates it quite a bit when you're trying to get past certain areas. It's like, oh, okay. So I, I think when I first came across it, I'm like, wait a minute, what am I supposed to do again? Um, but it, it wasn't that difficult to figure out. It took me like, um, not, not even like 20 seconds. It's like, oh, Pharaoh, that's 20 seconds too much. No, what, what to do? But eh, it's all it's all good. Um, what was I gonna say here? Ah, oh, damn it! I, I had something in my in my head, and boop, just totally went away. Regardless, uh, oh yeah, this is this isn't blind. Um, I, I did play this beforehand because I wanted I wanted to see if this is something I wanted to cover on my channel or something I'll be interested in, and uh, well, yeah, I liked it. Well, well, well. Glad to see you managed to survive jumping training. I bet that was a real challenge for you. Anyways, I just told I was just told the castle's under attack. I figured I'd better tell you this so you don't get in my way. The battlefield is too dangerous for you. Go home, kid, before you hurt yourself. Well, okay. Nah, hell no. No, 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 no. Wait, we're, we're gonna face this head on. He, you know, he tells us to go home, but he's like, just gonna watch us go. It's like, okay. We defy orders from our. I don't know, generals, commanders, whatever. What do you think you're doing? I told you to go home, kid. You're not ready to face battle. Hmm. To think someone like you are facing an army of the undead without training. You cannot be serious. Well, if you're gonna be like this, then I have to teach you another lesson. A lesson in pain. Oh, jeez, I, I don't have a weapon! Oh, crap. 
so yeah, our power or our health. And uh, yep, uh, we 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 can't do much because we don't have a weapon. I hope you learn your lesson. Now stay out of my way and do not try to be a hero today. You don't even have a weapon, so just give up. That's not gonna stop me. Yeah, I, I can try. I don't need a weapon. Act one, the palace. So now we have our power up there, so now we gotta watch out, because we can die. Warning! Evil forces are lurking around. I love that there's a sign telling us that. Oh! I see, we do have kind of a little weapon here, a, a little attack. It's like a little punch. It's really not gonna do much, so let's not bother with it. <laughs> let's just avoid things and, until we actually can find a weapon. Um. Whew. Actually, I think we're gonna... Yep, here it is! Behold! The Necrolands! Hey, I, I heard that name before. Ha ha ha. With this mysterious weapon, you can now fight off undead enemies. And, yep, it's kind of like, uh... Kind of reminds me of Link's sword. Yeah, like in, well, not just Zelda, like anytime you have like a full health, you can just shoot it off. I love how I say that even though I'm not really a huge Zelda fan, or I haven't really played any of the games besides Oh, the two worlds, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, now we can actually kill some bastards here. Isn't that swell? There we go. And enemies do drop things, whether it be health, and I think like there's something else they drop, but I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um but we'll, we'll, I'll maybe figure it out later. Oh my god, I almost uh almost got hit there. And I don't I don't think these spikes are when it kills. And see, look at that. You gotta do the air jump to, to get through. So that's what I really like, you know. But, oh, see, that's the thing they drop. I, I don't know what it is, per se. Um, I, I don't see anything in the HUD that tells me. Or And then, oh, I, I didn't mention, I didn't show off the menu, but the menu just shows off how you can play the game if you have keyboard controls. Um, when I first played the game, I, I was using my keyboard. I'm like, wait, can I use my gamepad? And sure enough, I can. And that's like, oh, there's controller support. Always a cool thing. Yeah, I, I don't know if that... It looks like kind of like a jar, but maybe I shouldn't like pick it up right away when I see it. Um, it looks like a jar of some sorts. Yeah. Oh, kind of goes away almost quickly though. Uh, maybe we're gonna have magic. I'm not entirely sure. As far as I know about this game, I'll, I'll also link a uh, the website of the game to uh, in the description. Besides the Steam page. Meanwhile, who's spooky? Get some bats and ghosts and evil things. The great dark warrior Throg of Winston? Yes. Yes! I understand. I will deliver this message to the Dark Necromancer at once. So I guess we are the Dark Knight? I ah, crap, I forgot his full name title, his full title, but uh. This is like the antagonist! Remember I told you guys I was gonna play as a protagonist and the antagonist? Well. If this doesn't scream antagonist, I mean, bridge over lava and fire and dark necromancer right there. Yeah, so the great dark warrior, Throg and Winston. So we can call him Throg or dark warrior, evil knights, whatever. Greetings, my lord. I bring to you a message from the battlefield. Apparently there's a warrior who's disrupting our attack on the kingdom. Who is this warrior? The name of the warrior is unknown. I see. Go now. Find this annoyance. Take care of him. As you command, my lord. Bloop. And now you get to play as Throg. So he has an attack to you. He has an air air jump thing, and he uh, well his attack it's not like a beam, but um you just gotta right in front of you. Please don't attack. Hit the dummy. <laughs> Hell no. Actually, oh boy. I don't think I saw that before. Uh, so yeah. It's kind of cool how the game kind of like goes back and forth like that. Hit the fire button to grab on hooks. So, oh crap, I missed it. There we go. So it's kind of it makes a little platform for you to do some platforming. Woo! I, I think. Oh, here we go. This is something else that he does. Uh, anytime you see uh, blocks like that, he'll just automatically break them. And it's like, oh crap. So, there is that. But I, I love how, like, you know, everybody has their, like, they have, like, their own songs, like, the, the, I, you know, I'm a sucker for music when it comes to video games, and th this really just brings back memories of, uh, you know, when I was a kid and just 
played NES, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, stuff like that, it's, it's like, oh, cool. I know like, a lot of developers, and a lot of indie, indie developers especially, are doing like more of the 8-bit feel, whatever, but I enjoy it. It was kind of cool when he plays him, you can just break stuff, like, just take out your anger on pots and, you know, boxes that did absolutely nothing to you, but screw them all, you are the great Dark Warrior Throg of Winston. I'm breaking pillars! So, it's pretty cool. And actually, I think it's... These do support stuff. Um, let's see if I can actually get something to fall. Actually, I think I'll be able to do it right here. I'm not really sure there's a purpose of doing so, but, you know, it's it's cool nonetheless, right? So... Uh, there... Ow, oh, hey, 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 hey. Stop that. So, yeah, I, I just fell in love with this game pretty much just, just by playing a little demo here. And I just want to showcase, showcase it to you guys, because, you know, who knows? Um, if you guys really enjoy it, like I said, you can go ahead and support the developer or, you know, vote for it to be greenlit so it can come out on Steam one day. I, I feel like it may really, um, cater to the fans of, well, the old consoles, um, and, and the old handheld systems, so... But e even new gamers, I feel it might. I mean, I'll say it's right, because I'm playing normal difficulty, I feel like the game's not, at least so far, like, difficult. But again, this is the beginning. Um, I think, according to the website, there's gonna be... six acts? So, this, game, this could be, like, a decently long game, and a good, good long adventure, but who knows? Either way, you're in for a little bit of a ride. <laughs> Here, so we got these boo. All right, and what's very nice too is like the controls, very easy to get to. Um, or it's very fluid. Uh, oops, it's very fluid and easily um, controllable. That that, that make any freaking sense? What I'm trying to say that the mechanics are solid. You know, you're not gonna have trouble like jumping or attacking anything like that. You know, it, it feels like as it should be. Oh boy. So. Because I, I feel like, I mean, that's one of the biggest things I can just totally ruin a game. If it doesn't have good controls, good solid controls, then you're, like, screwed. But, you know, thank God. Oh, wow. Uh, thank God that that's uh, not the case here. The controls are nice, fluid, plays like it should. Very reminiscent of a game you'll find, um, you know, on the uh, Game Boy or NES, anything like that. Actually, oh, let me see something. Okay, I thought maybe I could change the, um, the color, or to showcase, like, the monotone, like, colors of mid, um, midway through this, but I don't think I can. Uh, and once again, this game is still in development, you know, so I'm sure there's gonna be a few changes here and there. Oh, crap. Uh, as the game is gonna be closer to release, so, uh, don't take this as, like, the totally final product, you know, things always change, and e even if it stays as is, I mean, it's perfectly playable, so, at least as far as, as, far as I see so far, uh, actually, I just want to see what's down here, uh, okay, we have to come down here later, because it's like, oh, you saw, like, those things were kind of broken underneath us, well, we can't do too much yet, so we gotta make a little detour. Let's uh, do an arrow off. Nice. Now, I don't think there's a purpose of, like, destroying everything. I'm just, uh, filling my destiny as a great dark knight. So, actually, I think you can even destroy or ruin these things. Yep. <laughs> Take that! It's simple, you know? Like, I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to say, like, what else can I say really say about it, but it's... It's a simple game, you know, or a simple aesthetic regarding, you know, it's... You're a good guy and a bad guy, and you, you have to protect your kingdom, and at the same time, I guess destroy it, because you also play as, you also play as a bad guy. Um, so, yeah. You know, like, like I said, if you're a fan of the older games, I feel like you guys will really enjoy this. And take your, uh, take, yeah, the painting, I don't care. Oh, actually, I need to do that. So, let's see, am I... No, I'm not there yet. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I come in here before? 
If, if there's one thing I'm a little iffy on is like the whole um, getting off the ladder. That's the only thing I'm a little iffy on. See, I can't I can't just jump off like totally. I have to like kind of just, like a little hop thing. Would you call me Splar? Splar! Get lost, creep. Uh, so don't ever do that, ladies and gentlemen, but, uh, it's a video game, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but she, she called me a creep, and she said spla, and I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, I, actually, is there nothing here? I, I don't think there is. That was just a, just a very rude woman. Uh, that's it. So, did she deserve to get cut down by the Great Dark Knight warrior? No, but, no, screw it. Oops. Oh man, there's a couple of things I don't know where to go. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, cool. I'm trying to think like where I where I went last time, and I honestly don't. Whoa, what is this? Wait, what? What did I pick up? I definitely. I, okay, I definitely didn't go to the right there. I don't know what the hell that was, but uh, <laughs> it was a hand. <laughs> but okay then. Uh. Is, is this... Hmm. No, I, I, I know I said it's a simple game, but it's not difficult as much before to get, like, two loss, but... Here, see, that, that's where we were before. I think that's where we want to go. Well, let me check to the right. Because you guys know me, I love exploring. I, I love to see you know, everything that the game has to offer. So, uh... Let's give, let's give this a little look here. It's a painting that I just totally mutilated. Like the pirates. <laughs> All right, this is not Undertale. Don't. Uh. Yeah, actually, I forgot to even mention this video is the first video I'm recording ever since I got back uh, from my little vacation in Dallas, and uh, yeah, it feels good recording. Uh, sorry, if I, sorry if I if I feel out of it or yeah, I'm not in my Alpine groove. It's just a. Uh, you kind of gotta get back into these things just a little bit, but I am thoroughly enjoying my salt game. Uh, it's just great to be back. It really is. Like, it actually, I was like, it took me like a second. I'm like, wait a minute. How do, how do I re What's my recording setup again? Like, oh, I was like, wait, okay, set this up, set this up. Okay, now I'm good. <laughs> it, it's it's weird, but um, yeah, it feels it feels awesome to be back and playing game, recording it, and hopefully you, know, you guys will have more videos out. I'll get, I'll get back to my regular LP soon, and, you know, it's nice to have, you know, different videos here and there regarding something else, and, you know, that's that. Oh, no more power, no more music. Something must be happening. Let's see, well, if it isn't the warrior, then who are you? I am the Great Dark Warrior, Sir Throg. Wait, am I saying it right? Throg? Thorg? Whatever, Winston. Servant to the Dark Necromancer. Commander of the Undead. Alright, alright, I get it. You're the bad guy. I prefer you address me by my full name. I suppose bad guy will do. Eh, whatever you say. How dare you! Nobody gives me attitude! Foolish warrior, prepare yourself. For I am here to deliver a gift from the Dark Necromancer himself. Oh? And what might that be? Let me show you. Death! <laughs> oh, see, boom! We're right back to playing as the, um... I don't know what his name is. The good guy! You know, if you, if you want to keep it simple, it's like the good guy and the bad guy. Oh, boy. Um... So, yeah. And, and, oh, see, health. And I'm assuming that there's we're gonna get way more power-ups and we might get... Actually, it looks like we might get more health. There seems like there's two extra slots there. Actually, when we actually... Let's just say when the game fully comes out, um, you may you may not even start with uh, uh, six hearts like that. But who knows? Because like, once again, I'm playing on normal. I have no idea how it is on uh, hard. Oops. So, airwalk. Nice. So I, I have no idea how it may be on harder difficulty. But hey, if you guys are looking for a, a harder, a bigger challenge, then try that out. I'm also pressing other buttons to see if something else happens, but I, I don't think so. A lot of it is just kind of jump and, uh, jump and attack. So far. 
Actually, you know, playing this it makes me really want to go back to playing a classic game, but <laughs> maybe my own time. Anything up here? Uh, I guess maybe. Yeah, I don't know. There, there might be secrets here. I, I it's very possible. As I mentioned, uh, there are achievements, and because I played the game once before, uh, I actually unlocked a few, and I'll showcase that um, once I finish this video here, or once I'm done with this demo. It's not too terribly long. Uh, I'm actually, I'm not even keeping time right now, but uh, we'll just say like a good half hour or so. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, not, it's actually a pretty nice demo. It, 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 honestly, it does what a demo should do. Obviously demonstrates the game, but kind of showcases what you're in for, you know? It, it, there are demos out there, whether it be for indie games or even AAA titles, that I don't feel like they truly uh, kind of encompass what the game's actually what it is. Because you got things like they, they show off like a little piece of the gameplay, or that, that may not even be like the full thing of the game. You guys know what I mean. Um, case in point, it, and, I'm not, and this is not a bad thing at all, but like uh, recently E3 was going on, right? And uh, I'm super excited when they announced like Resident Evil 7, but I highly doubt that little demo they have there, but well, it's like 20 minutes or so, will is kind of like the whole thing of the game, or like the whole even gameplay style. We don't know. It's too early to tell. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I don't even know where the hell I'm going with this anymore. Oh no, it's a Zombified Fencer! M must kill. Boss fight! So, um, thankfully I know what to do here. Uh, well, I see that and I still get hit. Holy crap! Okay. You know, it, it let's see here. I, I deal like two and he deals one. So I, yeah, okay. Clutch! Clutch! <laughs> I know what to do here. Almost dies. So that was, uh, that was the first boss there. Oh, hey! That was impressive how you took down that monster. I would have, I would have taken him down myself, but I was too busy polishing my armor. Is that why you look like that? Uh, whatever you say, stranger. We have a little bit of thing. We'll just say whatever you say. <clears throat> well, anyways, you clearly are an experienced warrior. And as you may know, the king has been captured by a dark necromancer, which explains why all these undead monsters are here. Quickly now, meet me at the other side of the forest, so we may head over and find a dark necromancer and defeat him. Okay. I, I think I chose, um, okay, before, and, uh, he, he said the same thing, he said, <clears throat> Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice, hmm, everything is going according to plan, but just to be sure, I better play it safe. Yes, my lord? Go now and tell Throg the plants are where waiting. Of course, my lord. Nothing will interfere with my plans this time. Until I come and kick your ass. And my legs are broken. <laughs> Thank God there's no fall damage here. Oh, okay. And th there we go. Oh, why did I think it was a little bit longer? End of demo. Thanks for playing. No problem. Game made by Nick E. Monson. Or, I'm so sorry, dude, if I say your name wrong, but uh, he's actually one who... um. Who contacted me? Who's also the founder and CEO of Monsoon Studios? So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little demo of the game. And actually, before I head off, here are some of the achievements here. I, I don't know if you can get these all at once, but you know, there's like you defeat the first boss and perform an air jump, slay ten enemies. So I think these achievements are not only for a demo. They're like all these slots are actually for the entire game. And let me see something really quick cool. because see. Uh, there's also uh, say, multiple save files, and it looks like we're going to have like six different items. And, oops, that's not what I want to do. Oh, let's see if there's a way I can do hard. Oh, okay, it is. Well, I, I, I'm not I'm not going to do hard. I, I, I showcase the game as it is. Um, but yes, as I mentioned, if you all are interested in this game, uh, simply just, uh, you know, let the developer know. You can check out the website to the game and the Steam Greenlight page in the description below. And uh, actually, that'll be it for me today, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in my other LPs. Love you all so much. Have a great day.